And we begin with heartbreaking news out of Escambia County, Florida tonight. An investigation is underway after a toddler was found dead inside a car in Perdido Key. While well, the details are slim of what exactly happened, NBC 15's Corey Pippen is at the scene with what we know right now. I'm told investigators are treating the child's death as a homicide until authorities can collect all the evidence and figure out exactly what happened. Tonight, the tragic discovery of a two year old's body at the Aqua Porta Apartments on Meatson Road in Perdido Key has left locals heartbroken and prompted a homicide investigation by Escambia County, Florida Sheriff's deputies. They're taking photographs. They're looking for any type of evidence that indicates what happened, or how it may have happened, those type of things, both in the vehicle as well as in the house. John Mulchan, assistant state attorney, says the 911 call came in around four after someone reportedly found the child inside a vehicle. Mulchan wouldn't specify which one, but we saw investigators focused on this white van and the apartment next to it. While authorities are investigating all possible causes, Mulchan wouldn't rule out the possibility of a hot car death. Think about your own car and your own experience. It doesn't take long for it when it's outside in the sun for the for the uh, temperature to rise quite significantly. Right now, Mulchan isn't releasing the gender of the two year old or who found the child, but he says more information could be released tomorrow or after an autopsy is conducted. I will collaborate with the, the, the sheriff's office once they get to a certain point where they feel that they've gotten the information that they need to make a determination of whether an arrest is appropriate, whether one, one is not or whether a crime has been committed at all. Authorities say the investigation could be lengthy. No word on if any charges could be filed at this time. In Perdido Key, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC15.